Hi all, in this video we are going to learn about how to create a dashboard in Excel using Pivot Table. So I have prepared a simple data set so you can download from ITEL system. Um, and this data is having this data set is having workers name, age, the stat, they come from, races, uh, working experience, addresses, marriage status, stat starting sal salary, and number of children. So this is dummy data. Eh? Uh, this is nothing related to the real data. All right, creating a dashboard is not something difficult, but to understand the data and what you want to insert in a dashboard is crucial. If you have a data set, usually you should be able to answer a few questions of why, why you want to create a dashboard, and then what, what do you want to insert in your dashboard so that you can visualize it easily, and then um, what chart or what graph that you want to use to represent the data set. Okay, so um, for the first step, let us start. For the first step, select the data we have. Okay, this data set is simple. We have only about 28 rows. After you have selected the data, we go to the uh, insert, find either pivot table or recommended pivot table. So uh, you can try, we can try with recommended pivot table. And it will show you some possibilities of um, um, simplified table that the Excel understand. So, okay, we just select the first one, sum of starting salary by working experience. If you don't get the first one uh, exactly like mine, uh, you may also start with others. Okay, we can change it. We can change it later on. Okay, start with OK. Click the OK button. Then you will get this table. You will found that Excel has created another sheet for you, which is sheet 1. And then um, there is a small table to represent row rebels and sum of starting salary. Okay, so Excel understand that with this, we can create a table. And that particular table relates to working experience column and starting salary column. So how, how Excel do it? Excel put the working experience column in here, row, under row. And values is referred to sum of starting salary. So basically, which means that uh, this table can show us the starting salary for our employers or our workers and based on the categories, right? And in order to do that, um, we can create a chart here from um, this, okay, from this data. You just select it and then we can click insert and we can uh, click recommended chart or you can pick any chart that you want, All right? For an example, um, like this. Okay, I have clicked and selected this uh, bar chart right, to represent this summary of data, sum of starting salary. So from here, I can hide the title if I don't want it, um, but usually we will have a small title and the legend is not necessary because we only have one color here. So we can remove it, click the plus sign, we remove the legend. Okay, and then access. Uh, all right, let us add exit title and put RM. Okay, and then the bottom part is referred to uh, working experience. And next, if you found that um, there is a, a button here to click where you can select those data that we want or we want to we don't want to display okay we just maintain it and this part is up to you whether you want to maintain or we want to remove it you can maintain it if you want to remove this button sum of starting salary then we can remove it uh, what should we do is make sure the graph is selected then point it somewhere here sum of starting salary and then right click your mouse um, then hide value fill button on chart so so it will hide it Okay, or else if you right click, uh, right click this button and then you click hide all fields, then it will remove the working experience as well. So we just maintain it. Okay, we change the title to starting salary for all workers. Okay, so this is our first chart we have. Okay, now we are not going to put the chart over here under sheet one because this sheet one is a pivot chart sheet. Okay, we are going to have all of the tables, but not the chart. 
chart we will copy and paste or cut and paste to a sheet called a dashboard so what should we do next is click the plus sign buttons to add a new sheet and we name it as dashboard after that back to the sheet one for this chart we just cut it cut it Control x and then paste it Control v and put it somewhere here so we we now have um the first chart from our workers data okay i hope you can follow this okay Okay, now we want to start with the second graph for our dashboard or second information. What should we do is just copy the existing data from the pivot sheet or pivot chart and copy and paste it some way. All right, so now we want to see the age, the relationships between the age and their working experience. So what should we do is we tick the age and we found that the table is extended with the age information but we don't need the setting salary so we untick it you found that um, the working experience category is correct but then this is sum of age you want to know about the count of the age so what should we do is uh, we have to change the value field settings to count okay so with this we know that we have workers which are having more than 10 years of working experience and we have four workers okay we have 10 workers which are new to our company with zero to, to two years of working experience so now we can plot the second graph by select the data and the next insert another chart so it's up to you again um, maybe you want to pick a pie chart okay just assume you want to pick a pie chart uh, with the working experience noted here and then the count of edge okay count of edge we don't need it so right click we remove the value Okay, what should we do next is we want to see um, the data level probably. Okay, and then um, we want to change the title to working experience. A number of staff with their working experience. So now we have a second chart. Okay, again, I cut it, I cut the second chart, and then I put it in the dashboard, just next to um, the first chart. Alright, so it's up to you if you want to resize the chart, it's up to you. Okay, now back to our uh, dashboard chart again, the pivot chart again. Now I want to know how many workers we have. Okay, so from here, we have the number of workers, which is 28. Okay, sorry, we have 28 workers, so this is simple. Go back to dashboard and then here I will put number of workers. And in this field B3, in this uh, B3, cell B3, I will put a formula equal to, I assign it to sheet 1 E8. Oops, E8. Sorry. Okay, enter, and then we will get this number. So now I know that, okay, we have so many uh, workers. Okay? We have so many workers, 38 workers. So what else I want to know from my data? Um, I can know how many of them from different races. So what should I do is I copy the data again, and then I paste it some way. All right, so make sure you have selected the third data set. Okay, now I tick the race. Okay, I remove the age. And then I don't need the working experience. Yeah, but I want to know how many of them. So I simply put a name, but the name I put it under value. Okay, and then make sure it is count of name. Count how many workers we have. So from here, it is clear that we have so many um, workers, 28 workers. And these are the races for all of my workers. So again, I select the data and insert a chart. So it's up to you. Um, histogram probably. Oh, it say cannot create. Okay. So I click recommended chart. Find any chart that you think is relevant or you want to see. Um, 
surface. Uh, okay, maybe I just choose the simple one as this one. Total. All right, and click OK. So this is the third chart we have. I remove the legend, which is not necessary. I maintain the grid line. I maintain um, this filter box. I remove the count of name by right click the count of name and then click hide value field. Okay, and then I insert the title, exit title, number of staff or workers. X exit as race. Okay, um, title is up to you whether you want a title or not. Uh, okay, let's see what is the difference without title and with title. Eh? I just simply remove the title, chart title. All right, now we have the chart and then we copy or we cut it and paste it here. Okay, so we have two charts which represents um, the worker salary and working experience. And then the third one is about the races. Uh, we try to create another one chart, one more chart. So back to the sheet. And then copy the data again, paste somewhere. Now I want to know um, where do they come from? Or maybe their merit status. Okay, merit status. Oh. Wow, so balanced. Okay, so this is the merit status. We put the merit status under row. And then we try to count how many of them. Okay, next we select the data, we create another chart, the recommended chart or whatever chart we have. <coughs> okay, so again, remove those um, unwanted item like legend, I don't need it. And then chart. Maybe I don't need it. And I remove the count of name, hide the value field. Okay. Um, then, okay, all right. So we have the fourth chart, cut it and paste it here. So this is my fourth chart. All right. From my data set, I know that I have this number of workers and then Okay, so we try to um, create a dashboard based on this data. So creating a dashboard is based on your creativity, how you want to manage them, okay, how you want to visualize them. So from here, this is the, um, how to say, uh, a single value, 28 number of workers. So I changed the size of the font to 16, probably um, 16, to highlight the font size also to 16. Okay, and then I centralize it by merging the cell. Okay, next I bold it and change the font type to um, Adlam display. Okay, it is not fit. So I select another cell, extend, extend to E. And then, okay, done. All right, so this part is my um, numbers of workers. Then I select insert, put a shape. Okay, so you have to adjust the size of the shape based on the size of um, the cells. All right, I put no fill, no fill for the shape, but the shape outline I select uh, blue color. And then and the weight I put, okay, one PT is okay. All right. So maybe we can adjust a little bit the size. So this is my um, first information from the dashboard about number of workers. And then I drag a little bit up for my graph. Uh, maybe here. Yep. And then I arrange them. I select both graphs. I arrange them. Where is the arrange? Uh, shape, format, and then go to arrange, align top. Okay. 
and then same cache for the third and the fourth graphs. Go to the shape format, align top. Okay, next I want to remove their border. The border doesn't look um, nice for me. Okay, so I click all of the graph, go to the shape format. Oh, we cannot remove them. We have to remove one by one. We cannot remove in a group. Okay, never mind. Click one of the chart, go to format. Go to shape outlined. I remove it. Okay, do this for all of the graph. All right. So now you will see that there is no border for all of the graph. Never mind. We insert the border for them. So for me, I click um, this shape border, copy and paste, and then I move it here somewhere here. Drag it. Okay, and then paste it. Seems like the size of these two graphs are different. Okay, never mind. So it's up to you. You want to resize the graph or you want to resize the boulder. Okay, I align them so that they are aligned at the top. Okay, next. I copy and paste again the boulder. I put it on the next graph. Um, I leave some spaces so that it look nicer. Okay. I resize my chart. Okay, again, I align them to the top then resize the chart. Okay, next, you may group the boulder, the boulder and the chart itself. So when you move um, the chart, you can move them together. For an example, let's say if I want to move my chart um, for this chart pie, for this pie chart, if I want to move to the right, you now see that uh, the boulder is not following uh, the chart itself. So what should I do is click the chart, click the boulder, make sure both of them are selected and then right click, select group, group them. So now when I move them, they are actually attached together. All right, they are actually attached together. Okay, repeat same process for all of the chart. Okay, make sure all of the charts are uh, grouped, grouped based on. Um, okay, make sure you have grouped all of the charts with their borders. Now we may re-adjust the location of the chart. All right, then. So if you want, you can move. Um, Maybe we can add a title if you want. Dashboard, I just insert. Okay, three rows and then I put a title dashboard for um, XXX company. Workers. Okay, I merge the style. Centralize them. Um, then I resize the font and pick a lump display. I select a color. Uh, okay, seems like there is too much spaces here, so I remove two rows to see the effect. Okay, this is much better, much balanced. All right, now next, um, last process, I would say, we found that there are grid lines over here due to the Excel um, sheets, and then we should have removed it or hide it. So go to the view part, and then we can click view tab, eh? we can click uh, hide the grid line. You see, after you uncheck the grid, line, um, grid lines, you will see that this uh, 
lines will be removed, has been removed. Okay. So of course you also can, if you found that mm, this is too, how to say, um, this doesn't look nice. If you want to remove the grid line, you also can select and um, remove the grid line if you want it to be happens. Okay. So this is a complete dashboard for company workers. All right. So creating a dashboard, again, is not difficult. You have to first identify what you want. That is the first thing. And then the second thing is you have to identify about the um, colors, uh, the visualizations part, about what colors that you want to put for all of the uh, boulders and then the size of the graph and then the font size. Okay. If you have adjusted them properly and uh, planned properly, then you should have created um, some very interesting um, dashboards. Okay, or some very attractive uh, dashboard. Alright, so I hope this uh, video helps you to create a, a dashboard using Excel. Thank you for watching this video.